Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to the March 2023 energy interpretation for way showers, the luminary beings who are here to really make a difference on the planet and to light things up when things seem like there's a lot of chaos and turmoil. The helpers, the healers, the coaches, the creators, the creatives, the inventors, I said adventures, but I meant inventors, but maybe the adventurers too, the explorers, the visionaries, the people that are like looking at what is and going, we can do better and I think I can help. So this energy interpretation is going to talk about the energy of March. And how I always do it is to really open up my channel and I invite in the energy stream. And then it usually comes through as poetry and a few themes that I want to talk to you about how you can navigate the energy. I'm Casey Aileen Knight. If we haven't met, of Joy Evolution and Luminous Evolution. And I'm a conscious creation coach and soul voice activator who is really here to support helpers, the healers. I'm here to help the helpers really access their creation power because we have work to do. And I'm sure you can feel it's time because, I mean, we know the world has been incredibly chaotic for a while now. Things really started accelerating in 2019 when I began these energy interpretations. And I mean, you know how they say March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb? I know we're getting lion energy. I know we're getting more intensity. I don't know if we're actually going to access the lamb energy, but it's 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 going to be more of this dismantling, more of your illumination of stuff that's not working. There is so much cosmic light being shone onto the planet as well as light being emitted from our hearts and from the earth herself, that basically all of the things that have been hiding in the shadows are being witnessed and seen for the first time in a long time. Uh, some of my beautiful mentors and friends call this a time of truth and revelation. And yeah, we're being shown all of the stuff, all of the junk. It's wild. So when I tapped into the energy of March, that trend continued. So you're like, what else is new? <laughs> Basically, over the last three years, we've been called into more integrity and responsibility, and we've been asked to clean up our stuff because of what was presenting. And I want to invite you to listen to this without fear, because this is what is necessary, unfortunately, for humanity to really see what is going on and for people to have the experience of going, no, this, this can't happen and we need to do it a different way. Humanity often needs those lessons from being squeezed. We don't often grow as strong or as quickly if we don't have some catalysts for that, let's just say. So when I tuned into March, it was a harmonic chord, but that harmonic chord was dissonant. If you are a music aficionado, you know that dissonance is frequencies that clash with each other rather than harmonizing. And the earth was reverberating with these dissonant notes, a seemingly uncoordinated mishmash of sounds that just were interjecting with not quite enough rhyme, tempo, or reason, and it just seemed quite chaotic. It felt, though, like the dramatic music that is the build-up of a cinematic score. And in an orchestral score, when dissonance is first introduced and the sounds are like not quite going and it's like this cacophony and it starts to put your body on edge, and then there's a resolution to that and things come back into harmony. We feel it in our body and we appreciate the sweetness of the harmony so much more than if it had just been harmonious the whole time. So this is revealing for us so many different processes. But I want you to first look within before you look to the outside world in March. And it's our opportunity to find and notice the dissonance within and resolve it within ourselves first. Until our beingness is united in one chord, 
when harmonically resonant chord, we're not going to be able to play and flow and create with the universal harmonies and the universal song as easily. So hold on to your hats because this is where our narrative and our story is getting interesting, right? Building up to that climax. I'm not saying March is the climax, but there is energy building. There is going to be more tension rising in the world. And I want to invite you again to feel that without any fear, but rather understand this. Dissonance is sometimes necessary to, to activate and clear things out. It shakes things up. It illuminates what is not fitting, what is not matching. Dissonance also can really help you clear things out. In the work that I have done with soul voice activations and light language and using the voice and sound frequencies for healing, oftentimes the dissonance breaks up old patterns of behavior. It shakes us up. It wakes us up. And so that is the role of this dissonance right now. And again, I want to remind you to come into self first before worrying about cleaning the world up, even though I know you are here to help. We have to do this through our own beingness and through the our bodies, through the example what is of what is possible. And it is possible to have more harmony, but you'll still occasionally have dissonant notes. And that will bring you into the awareness of what is needing to be cleaned up, moved, cleared, healed, alchemized into the stuff that's moving forward. And so what is really, really required for us is to be able to create this like clean and clear alignment, body, mind, heart, and soul. We talk about it all the time in the programs that I offer. Coherence, alignment. And I invite you to not only think about like the body, the heart, the mind, all being in alignment, but also align with source itself. Bring that down through you and anchor it into the earth. Because whatever you can build from that place of alignment, oh, that sound it's so much more resonant, so much more harmonious, so much more magical, honestly. So this is the deepest invitation and all the work that you've been doing leading up to this is what is for you. We have to learn to navigate the storms, the intensity of the world outside by running a clean and clear emotional current on the inside. And that comes up often, so often, it's actually part of the Oracle deck that I do have that um, I have been blessed with being able to co-create and, and bring forward, originally made by my mentor, Lisa Michaels. But this was just sitting at the top of my deck and I'm like, oh, well, yes, let's talk about it. The clean and clear emotional current allows you to be in flow. You still have feelings, but you can't let the density stick to you, which is old traumas, dramas, stories, feelings that have just been stagnant and unmoved. Feelings need to move, your energy needs to move. And with so much cosmic intensity, we require clearing that stuff out. Otherwise what happens is the, the energy that tries to flow through us gets stuck and it like ding, 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 like a ping ball machine and it lights you up. It's illuminating what needs to be cleared and you can use your tools but it's uncomfortable. It's, it's not very comfortable. We are really moving into that time where there's, and again, I've said this before in other energy reports, but it just continues to build. There is such a big like duality, such a huge spectrum of experiences. Some people even call that like a bifurcation of worlds. And I believe that's more metaphoric, you know, than literal. We don't have like Earth's literally splitting apart. There's not going to be two of them, but a bifurcation of the experience of humankind right now, or some people who are still spinning in the traumas and the, the dramas and the separation, which is really the root cause of all of it, right? Separation from source and each other and self internally and externally, all that separation, they're gonna feel so adrift, so alone, so root of sorts, and it's gonna feel like so much chaos. And for those who have been doing this work of reunifying, with source and internally, they will have an energetic experience of intensity, but 
when you feel the air, you can also feel like bliss. If you allow it to run through your body instead of moving around inside of you, it feels like bliss. It is so profound. So we have to feel the energy as a clear current channel so that we can really see what's happening energetically and not be only focused on what's happening in the physical. And these are reminders. I've said them again. It's like the, the body is the base especially for this upcoming month and every month coming through. We cannot leave it behind. We need to give it what it needs. If you don't have the very most human basics now, you're not going to have a good time. If you are dehydrated, really tired, not well nourished, if you are not moving your energy and getting outside and doing all those super basic things that the human meat suit, the physical body vessel requires, it's going to be too intense for you to have anything but a lot of pressure. We are in another time of it all being shaken loose. So we need to be able to ground and run the energy. Density will distort and amplify the intensity of the energy. The density in your body, the old stuff that needs to move that hasn't healed. So continuing to do your work. When we come into that aligned place that we were talking about before, cosmic to earth alignment right through your being, we can actually see things for what they are. When we are in the presence of that alignment and drop into our heart, which is your next thing that you need to do, you got the body aligned, you've got the alignment, you have to learn to operate from the heart space, the heart, mind, mind and heart unifying as one, which they can do. And we can be in a space that is more neutral. I call it divine neutrality because it's not neutral like Switzerland neutral. It's neutral from the place of not judging things because when we get into the judgment, then we can get pulled into the stories of everything and the traumas and the dramas and the, the density, right? If we look at everything that's happening on the earth and we say, this is so bad, it's bad, everything is bad news. When in fact, we need to go through this awkward, awful, and yes, uncomfortable time to be able to de-instruct all of the old stuff that's not working and elevate and evolve into this new capacity for reunification with source and spirit and the earth you know if we're always saying that's bad then we can't understand the goodness that will come out of it bad and good are this like along two sides of a spectrum but they're also kind of two sides of the same coin in existence so this place of neutrality where you can look at the storms that are going to happen and go this really does suck like we're not spiritually bypassing that is over that is passe but we can go and this will be able to turn into the gold. We're going to turn the lead into gold, the shit into gold, the manure into compost, because from that stuff that is going to suck, I'm not going to, like, we cannot bypass the fact that people are going to be experiencing this intensity and it's not going to be easy. But it is what is taking us to where we need to go. Um, you truly tune into the edge of energetics from that clean and clear channel in alignment and you connect with your highest self and you feel into the future trajectory, you know that eventually we do get to where we are going. And this bumpy ride has a I'm sorry, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I can feel and remember the future and I know that is where we are headed. So we're, we're really working on our personal harmony so that we can be that change in the world. We can't affect change in the eye world to create more peace and harmony unless we have it internally first. So as the dissonance is happening out there, you get to reclaim your own personal peace, sovereignty, harmony, and all of those things. So the, the polarity, the spectrum that people are playing in, it's like there are going to be people that are going to feel and look and sound deranged, like absolutely bonkers. People, the stress, the trauma, it is going to make certain people crack. The world is going to seem like it's quite continually chaotic. 
perhaps even more so than it already does. And then we'll have sometimes some of that come up in our own self if it still needs to be cleared out. But it's being elevated for us to witness with divine neutrality and love and compassion. And then we can alchemize it and transform it and say, what do we want instead? And so we are moving as a whole towards being balanced, being in harmony. But first, we also, many of us need to experience being out of harmony, being out of balance. And from that place, we can go and bring it back in, right? The dissonance is going to create that resolution for us. So we are moving into more awareness. And there are not just hundreds of us, not just thousands of us. There are millions of beautiful souls who are here doing this work for themselves first, to be in alignment, to be able to be in harmony and create from that place and share from that place. So I really want to encourage you to focus on self first, really support that harmony, body, mind, heart, and soul and alignment. And then from that place, lift, speak, create, be the guiding light, be the calm in the storm, be, you know, at the center, that still center in the hurricane and whatever other metaphor you need to have, the lighthouse in the storm. This is you. This is the time. It is now. We need you to be on your best. I don't want to say behavior. That's not it. But to be the best example by caring for yourself at another level, like been saying since 2019, your self-care needs to expand. Your self-care needs to expand. Yes, more is being asked of you. But you have to build the foundation and the resources internally to be able to handle that as well. So if you're seeing a lot of trauma, a lot of mental health, a lot of like people acting up, acting out, being out of control, understand that your job, I mean, it might literally be to go and help them, but you can only really help through the calm presence and alignment. Because if you get whipped into it, if you join them in that, there is, what is the right word? There's no piece of you that needs to play in that right now. It's unnecessary for the ones I'm speaking to right now. For some people, it may be, but for you, if you're hearing this right now, you don't have to play that game and get spun up in it anymore. If you choose to, that's fine. It's not a wrongness. You can go and explore and you'll still learn stuff from being swept up in the chaos but you do not have to anymore. This is your time. This is your opportunity to be that still point. Okay. So breathing into this, the dissonance that we are gonna feel as well as the harmony, but it's gonna be overlaid is going to potentially be quite uncomfortable in March and perhaps April. You've got this, you've got this. You've got so many tools. You've been training, not just live this lifetime, but for many, many lifetimes for this. So I want to give you so much love and appreciation for being here now, for being a guiding light. Reach out if you would like support in creating any of this in your life, more stability, more connection, more abundance. And now I want to offer you an invitation for those who resonate with my voice, who hear my voice, and they're like, yes, this this feels resonant in my body. There is an opportunity to really deeply connect into your alignment and then activate your own voice as a creator to, to be the change that you wanna see in the world and to work with me on that for four months, starting March 7th in a program, it's my new signature beauty called the Voice of Creation. And this Voice of Creation program is going to support us in unplugging from all of the stuff that's not us 
and anchoring in that aligned place that I said is essential for right now. And then from that place of alignment, we're going to really practice bringing through, being that channel. What is my truth? What does source say to me? What is spirit saying? What is the earth saying? Being that channel for your divine truth and for divinity and creation itself. Not channeling like other beings and entities and things like that. Channeling source, your highest self, and perhaps speaking with the earth as well, right? On that axis, it's connecting your heart and your mind so you can admit your truth to yourself, and then we'll practice sharing it with the world, but in a safe space. And through that practice, we'll give you the reinforcement you need to be able to show up and be that light. And when you access that create, creation power and that alignment, and you practice speaking from that place of truth, you become this master manifester. You become a portal for possibility and your voice becomes so powerful that when you speak the universe responds because you're in alignment and coherence you know how people say and so it is and I speak as I create and your words create your world well that's that's true but to really powerfully create and not have it be out of alignment because your subconscious mind and your mind are like fighting each other. That needs all of these practices to come into alignment to be able to speak in that coherent way. So when you speak, it's powerful. People hear it. People listen. People resonate with it because you're speaking from the deepest place of truth and authenticity and not holding back out of fear, of judgment, of being, you know, misunderstood, all of those things. And so I want to invite you to play with me in a live four-month passage. There are live weekly calls, and we'll be going through all of that transformation, activation, and embodiment of the voice of creation. And it'll work us up the solstice. But on the solstice, then we'll have a beautiful ceremony to really activate you into that next level of illumination and power as a creator, using your voice to speak the truth and to speak from a place of divine love, by the way, which is, if you don't jam with that, if you don't want to play in divine love and be a mouthpiece for divine love, this is not the program for you. But if that sounds so good to your soul, the link will just be below for the voice of creation. And there are so many other opportunities to connect into community and to play and to create resources and to get mentorship right now. If you're not resonant with my voice, if you don't want to come and play in that container with me, find support around you because doing it alone is not how we're playing in 2023. So I want to send you so much love. I will be back in um, at the end of March, beginning of April with the next energy interpretation. But until then, just please make some beautiful music through your own expression. Your song, your sound, your soul needs to be heard right now. So much love to you.